Big time to the Christian. Satan gonna be there. Satan gonna be in his seat on Sunday. It's those Christian folk that got something else to do. You got to know Satan versus the Christian. Have I got a witness? And I ain't talking about with your physical eye. I got, I'm talking about that prudential, that, that, that countenance that Satan carries with him, that identifies him. Because he ain't going to tell you who he is. No, he ain't going to do that. No, no, the Lord will. I think I said this in Bible study other night. Lord will, Lord will tell you who he is. All through the scriptures, he tell you, I'm the Lord thy God. I am that I am. He, he tell you I, who he is. But Satan, you ain't never heard him say the scripture, I'm the devil. He always tried to disguise himself to be something that he really ain't. That's why he comes in with the high heel shoes, and the silly nose, and all that kind of stuff. And, and you know, it looks good marching in him, so you don't detect who he is. Huh? He come in as a sheep. Y'all didn't get that. He comes in as a he. And then he can come in as a sheep. But it's only those who are close to the Lord that can de conduct, uh, detect who he really is. And you need to be able to say it's nothing but the devil. Because the devil ain't always the person sitting on your seat. It's not, it's not always the person sitting on your people. On your seat. It's the person sometimes sitting in your seat. Huh? You got to be able to understand that sometimes the devil ain't sitting next to you. The devil ain't sitting next to me. The devil is sitting in me. I got to know the difference when I come to detecting Satan. Sometimes I need a little help with that. When I go to the pastor and tell him that I have problems in my life and, and ask him what he think about it. Sometimes I need a little help with it. He ought to be able to tell me, well, this is what the Lord said. This is what the Lord said. Uh, because uh, we're living in a world now where we have too many opinionated people. We give so many opinions. It is in my opinion that this should happen. In my opinion, that should be. But this is not an opinionated book. This book means what it says, and it says what it means. So we don't have to guess about this thing. Either. And as the Lord says, it's the truth. And we know that the truth will set you free. Yeah. So just preach to him. Just tell him. Uh -huh. Just warn yeah. him. Yeah. That if they don't do it God's way, yeah. Yeah. they're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Just warn yeah. That's the duty of a watchman. Yeah. Stay, on this, stay on the top of this wall yeah. and warn these people. It's up to them. Now we talked about the duty of him, the watchman. But the watchman is the, not the only one that has a duty. We talked about the watcher. Well, there's a watchee. Who has a duty in this passage. The Lord said, you want them. But they have a duty to take heed right. to the one. Because you know, I have a lot of folk that the preacher warn every, every Sunday morning. And they know. Walk out of here the same way they came in. Forgetting about everything you see. They came in with hell in them. 
they leave you with him. You had good church, you had a lot of singing, you had a lot of preaching, but they had the same amount of hell in them when they leave as they did when they came. In fact, sometimes during that service, they gained a little more hell because they were looking at somebody they shouldn't be looking at, and that person didn't look the way they thought they ought to look, or they were looking somewhere else and they thought they were looking at them. And you came doing all right, but you left here in a worse condition than you did when you came. How about that witness here? Anybody go to some of these churches that I've been to? Well, folk ain't just the same and everybody in church is not right. That when Satan shows himself in church, he shows himself to be Satan. Satan not supposed to act like the Lord. So when you think Satan don't care for you, you just dress in the state. Satan is out to destroy you. And he's out to destroy you any way you can. He's out to destroy you, your family, your marriage, all that kind of stuff. And when you go home and people start talking crazy at your house, you need to talk to the Lord. Because that ain't nothing but Satan right there. And you need to get that foolishness out of your house. Because I don't care how long you've been married. I don't care how long you've been together. Satan get into people who've been married a long time. People who have a whole bunch of children and grandchildren. He gets into those folks as well. So that don't mean because you've been married 15, 20 years that everything gonna be all right with you. We change every day. The only person I know that don't change is the Lord. Cause he said I change not. But you can't say that cause every day you something different. Yesterday you like this, today you like something else. Yesterday you said this, Today you're saying something else. Yesterday you went here, today you're going over here. We change every day. How are we going to adjust to one another? Can we adjust to one another? Because we study change all the time. All right, I'm going to have to close this thing. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm all right now, I feel good. I'm all right. So it's not just up to the trumpet blower. The trumpet here has a duty. The preacher's preaching. The preacher's warning you. And every, every week he's warning you. Every week. And then do you not know it's a burden, those of you who don't preach? Those of you who don't preach. It's just a burden on a true preacher. When he preaches all the time. And it seems like nothing's getting better. It, it really is a burden. It, it, it feels like you're not doing your job. And a true watchman goes home and asks the Lord, Lord, what am I doing wrong? What, what am I saying wrong? And we've all been there. Dawson, I know you've been there. When it seems like you all be getting some results, but everything still stands the same. And you're asking yourself, what's wrong with my preaching? What am I doing wrong? Well, let me tell you, all the time it's not you. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a fact. But every time the people don't respond, it's not your fault. Sometimes you just don't have responsive people. It's not always your fault. Everybody's not going to hear to the word of God. Some people don't resist the word. I don't care how you bring it to them. If you bring it to them, solemn. If you hoop it out, it does not matter. Everybody's not going to receive the word of God. You've got to preach on anyhow. And don't let Satan turn you around and keep you from talking about it. Well, folk ain't coming because all you preach about is this. Well, maybe, maybe that might be a fact. Uh -huh. And you need to keep on. Yeah. All you preach about it is you just preach about this all the time. All the time. Well, if you start doing that. We won't have to preach about it no more. 
do you keep preaching about it and uh, you ain't learned to do it yet? Not only is there a responsibility, but there is also consequences. He told me what to do on both sides. The watchman do the warning. The people take heed to the warning. Watchman can't make you do it. You don't have to do it. But there are consequences. There are consequences, and we're paying consequences every day for not listening to the word of God. Our nation is paying the consequence. Our families are paying the consequence. Every day, simply because we're not taking heed to the word of God. We're learning more about everything except the word of God. We're going to the internet finding uh, uh, information and intelligence on everything else except for the word of God. We're in all kind of, all kind of universities and, and, and we're taking up all kind of classes for this, that, and the other. Uh, but we can't get you the Bible study. We're interested in everything else except for the word of God. And the nation is paying consequences. And we talk about that young man up the road there. And I say to you, well, I don't know him personally. I don't know his family. But I can guarantee you they didn't have him in church every Sunday. 